Okay, you guys asked for it, and I've been avoiding doing this for quite a while, but today we're gonna make Windows 11 look like Windows 7. There was a lot that I had to figure out to make this worth doing. That's because this is not simply going to be a start menu replacement, but we're gonna get AeroGlass working in Windows 11. Stay tuned. I've made Windows 11 look like OS X. I've made it look indistinguishable from Windows 10. I've even made it look like Windows XP. But the one mod that you guys always keep asking me for every time I do one of these videos is to make Windows 11 look like Windows 7. Clearly, there's a lot of Windows 7 fans out there, and I completely get it. Windows 7 is a really good looking OS, but you see, that right there is the problem. That's exactly why I haven't done it. These videos are not simply start menu replacements. I try to legitimately make Windows 11 look like the other operating system. In fact, to the point to where if someone sits at your computer, they would think you're running the other operating system. However, to do that with Windows 7 requires one thing that I've never been able to achieve before, and that's AeroGlass. When Windows 7 came out, it had a revolutionary new theme that used a combination of three-dimensional accents with transparencies known as AeroGlass. Unfortunately, with Windows 10, Microsoft flattened the operating system down and took away the transparency effects. Getting them back wasn't easy, and I really hope you guys appreciate this because I spent days and countless hours trying to make this guide easy to follow and look really good. This took multiple different experiments that mostly turned out like trash, but eventually I think I really nailed the look. But first, before we jump into it, we gotta pay some bills, so check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be, because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. Okay, with that out of the way, let's make Windows 11 look like Windows 7. All right, here we go. We're in a default install of Windows 11. This is about as default as you can get. So if you look, if we open up File Explorer here, you'll see that Windows 11 does have a unique theme. And this is unique to Windows 11, and you guys all know this theme by now, but it's got the rounded corners, but it's a really flattened down operating system. It's not like Windows Vista and Windows 7 was, where it was a real three-dimensional look. And this flattened look kind of started around Windows 8 to Windows 10 era. And, you know, this is one of the reasons that people like Windows 7 is because Windows 7 is a more 3D looking operating system. So the first thing that we're going to do is try to kind of get some of them elements back. And to do that, there's going to be several programs that you're going to need, but we're going to start out with one to give us the transparency effect here in our borders of our windows. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And for that, we're gonna need a program called Mica for Everyone. You can pick this up on GitHub, and I'll have links to all of the programs that we're gonna be using down in the description below. So to download this, just go ahead and click on Latest. And then from Latest, you're gonna scroll down. You wanna download the Release Installer. So it's gonna be the first one right here. So we're gonna click on that, and it's gonna download. Just go ahead and hit Keep in Chrome if it gives you any errors. We're gonna go ahead and let it install, and then we're gonna show it in folder here, and we'll go ahead and minimize our browser here. And we're gonna go ahead and set it up. And setting this up, go ahead and just click install for all users or only for you, depends on what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes to user account control and go through the regular setup process. And then once it sets up, once you go to launch it, it's going to ask you to install the .NET Core, which if you don't have it, you're gonna to need to install it. So go ahead and hit yes and it should take you right to the website. And then from there, it should download it automatically. We're gonna go ahead and click on it here Go ahead and install it real quick. And then from that point, we're gonna minimize our browser again. 
And then once that is installed, you have to actually start the program now. So if we click on the start button, you can see right here in Windows 11, it has it as recently added. So we're gonna go ahead and start it real quick. And once it starts, it should start automatically down in the bottom right here. So once it's open, then you go ahead and click on it and you get the settings right here. So for these settings right here, obviously you want it to run at startup. You don't wanna to have to launch it yourself every time. And then from there, we wanna go into these rules right here. Now, the way this program looks like it works is if you set up a global rule, then all the other rules, as long as they're set to default, should follow. But I've found that that isn't actually the case. This is actually a really buggy program, but it's the only one I could find that could give us the effect that we want. So if we go to global rule, the title bar color, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and click on dark. And then from there, for the backdrop type, instead of mica, you wanna go to acrylic. And then for the corner mode, the default corners for Windows 11, obviously you know that they're the rounded corners, but Windows 7 also had rounded corners, but they weren't as pronounced. So for there, we can go slightly rounded to give us slightly rounded corners. And then at this point, you go through all of these other settings down here and you set these exactly the same as you did back then. And now as I'm setting them, you can see that it's changing on our other window right here. So if we go to corner mode, we go slightly rounded, it kind of changes the corners to be more like Windows 7 with the, just the slight roundness. And then MS Paint, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna go to dark, we're gonna go to acrylic, and we're gonna go to slightly rounded. And then console window class, you don't have to worry about that one. You can leave that one default. And then from there, we can go ahead and close it. And now, as you can see, we have the translucent effect inside of our windows. You can see the background kind of shining through the top bar in the window right here. Okay, now that we have our translucent top bar right here, what we need to do next is move on to making our taskbar and start menu look more like Windows 7. Obviously, it's obviously Windows 11 right now. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and close this window here, and we're gonna start playing around with our taskbar right here. So the first program that we're gonna need is a program called Explorer Patcher. Now, I've used this one before, and I've had it in videos before, but it hasn't been updated in a while. It was updated in April, and unfortunately, there are some bugs in it, and they're well aware of the bugs, but unfortunately, there's no fix for them at the moment. However, I'm gonna kinda of show you how to get around them to get it to function correctly. So if we click on latest right here, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna pick up the latest executable right here. Go ahead and download it. And if you want, get, hit keep in Chrome right here. Chrome may give you an error. And then from there, go ahead and run it. We're gonna hit yes. And as you can see, everything went blank and then nothing happened. Our bar didn't show back up. And this is actually really easy to fix. And what you gotta do is just hit Control Alt Delete, go over to your normal lock screen right here, click on Task Manager. And then once Task Manager opens, you wanna scroll down to Explorer on the list right here. And it's probably gonna be close to the end of the list. But once you hit it, click on Explorer and then hit Restart Task. And then once you restart it, it should fire up and show you your taskbar again. And then from there, you can see that there hasn't been any changes to the taskbar but there actually has, you just don't realize it yet. If you right click, you can see there's a much bigger menu now in the taskbar. So all you gotta do is go on to properties and these are the properties for Explorer Patcher. So some of the things that we're gonna need to change is obviously the taskbar style is Windows 11 right now. We're gonna change this one to Windows 10. And then because the Windows 10 taskbar is a little bit easier to give us the Windows 7 arrow effects. And then as we go down, there's a couple other things that you wanna do here too. Like for instance, we're gonna undo show search, we're gonna undo task view button. And you wanna come down here where it says combine taskbar icons on primary taskbar. It says never combine. You wanna set this to always combine. And then once you do that, go ahead and hit the restart file explorer right here. And it should restart your file explorer. And now that you have, now you can tell you have the Windows 10 style taskbar right here. But if you click on the start button, the start menu still opens in the middle, but that's okay. We're going to move on to that one in a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go down to start menu right here. And then we want to change this right here to the position on screen from center to at edge of screen. And that'll fix our start menu. Then from there, we want to go into file explorer. And from file explorer, we want to disable this stupid Windows 11 context menu. So that's this menu right here. As you can see, this is the Windows 11 context menu. That does not look like Windows 7. So we're gonna click right here and then we're gonna click on Restart File Explorer. And then once we restart File Explorer, if we right click right here, you'll see the old fashioned context menu. Now this one's a good one to change regardless of what you're trying to make your computer look like. The Windows 11 context menu stinks. I'm so glad there are so many different ways to get rid of it. 
Now from here, we're just about done with Explorer Patcher. We can go ahead and close this right here. We have our Windows 10 taskbar down here at the bottom. And now we need a Windows 7 start menu, obviously, because this looks nothing like Windows 7. So for that, we're gonna go back onto GitHub and we're gonna go ahead and download OpenShell. Now OpenShell, this is a really common program. Lots of people have used it before. I'm sure you've used it before. So we're gonna go ahead and click on latest. We're gonna scroll down and click on OpenShell setup right here. And then again, go ahead and hit keep. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and open the executable and we're gonna go ahead and install OpenShell. So from there, just go ahead and leave everything default and go ahead and do the setup and hit finish. And at this point, once you click on the start button, you'll get the settings menu right here. Now, a lot of people may not think that OpenShell can give you a believable Windows 7 start menu. At least I've heard that before. However, we're gonna play around with changing some of the themes. And once we're done, you're gonna be surprised at how close to Windows 7 it looks like. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is click on show all settings because we're gonna need to go through a lot of these settings when we're setting this up right now. There's a few things that we're gonna need to download before we go any further here. And it's actually a skin file that we're gonna download for Windows 7 to give it a more believable start menu. So go ahead and open up your browser window and I'm gonna have this link in the description below. This is actually from the Classic Shell forum. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom right here, you will find this link here, right here, where it says Windows 7 Light Combo Revision E Skin 7. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and download it. And then once it downloads, we're gonna hit Show in Folder. And then from here, we wanna right click and hit Copy. And then click on this PC, go into Drive C, go into Program Files, then you wanna go into Open Shell, and then into Skins. And then from this point, you just right click and hit Paste and then hit continue in order to paste it into this folder. And then you can go ahead and close that and minimize our browser window. Okay, and from this point, in order for the skin to load, we wanna go ahead and close the settings again, right click on start, hit settings again, and we'll get our settings menu back. And from here, we're gonna click on skin. Right now it's on Metro. We're gonna click here and we're gonna select the Windows 7 combo right here. And then you can go through here and you can play with all these settings to your liking. There's a lot of settings to tweak this menu right here, but by default, I think it looks pretty good the way it is. However, you can kind of go through here and you can set all these settings up to your liking. I'm not gonna go through a lot of these settings on this video, but you can go ahead and go through them yourself and see what kind of tweaks you can come up with in order to dial this in to exactly how you like it. Now, the next thing that we need to do, obviously, is now that we have our Windows borders, as you can see right here, have the translucency, and we have our Windows 7 start menu, we definitely don't have a Windows 7 taskbar. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna go ahead and close this. Go ahead and hit yes right there. And the first thing that we need to take care of is that start button looks nothing like Windows 10. So opening up Chrome again, there's another forum post right here and I'll keep this link in the description. We wanna download this right here. And essentially all you gotta do is just right click and hit save image as, and go ahead and just drop this in your pictures folder right here. And then once you've done that, go ahead and minimize this and we're gonna right click and go back into settings again for open shell. From here, we wanna click on start button and then we wanna click on replace start button. And then from there, we wanna select custom button image. The button image here and we're gonna click these little dots and that'll open up our file explorer. And then go ahead and just go to wherever you saved that image that we downloaded before, which is this one here. We're gonna go ahead and hit open. Once we hit okay, there we have now a Windows 7 start menu and it even has the animation effect. So when you run your mouse over it, it looks just like Windows 7 did. Now, one thing that you might notice, obviously on mine, it came out perfectly aligned. However, if yours isn't, you can go ahead and right click, hit settings, and then you can kind of change the button size and you can change the alignment here. So there's a little bit of tweaks that you can do in order to get it to look better to your system right here. Like for instance, if I was to set this to 100 and hit okay, you can see now I've got a giant button. So just go ahead and right click on it, hit settings. And then from here, you can kind of tweak this to change the size to whatever fits your needs better. So I'm gonna set mine to zero, just like it was before. Hit okay. And as you can see, it's a pretty good size right there. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we have to do something about this taskbar. I looked 
all over for different programs and things like that in order to change this taskbar. And believe it or not, I found a solution to this problem right in OpenShell. So what you're gonna wanna do is right click on the start button, hit settings, and then we're gonna wanna go over to the taskbar menu from within OpenShell. And obviously we wanna click customize taskbar. And from there you can already see that it gave us quite a bit of translucent effects, but that doesn't look like Windows 7. We need to make it look like Windows 7. So to do that, we wanna make sure that the transparency is selected right here. And then for opacity, go ahead and change this to 100 right here. And this, you might think is taking your opacity away, but it'll look good in a minute. You just, you just wait and see. So the next thing we wanna do is, I wanna kinda of change the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, click on these dots, and I'm gonna to go to a lighter blue color right here. And it's looking a little bit better, but we got a, quite a ways to go. And then for the taskbar text icon, obviously normally you'd wanna set it to white, but as you can see, they're not setting to white. So this might actually be a bug within the program, but there's a way you can fix this. If you click on your desktop, right click, and go to personalize, and then from personalize, click on colors, and then right here where you see the choose your mode, instead of light, go ahead and go to custom and make sure the windows mode is set to dark. And if you do that, you'll see that your buttons become white, more like the Windows 7 buttons were. Okay, now from there, we wanna go down to the taskbar texture. And this one right here is kind of important because Windows 7 had a 3D effect on the taskbar. And obviously we just have a flat taskbar right here. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go back into Chrome here, and we're gonna click back over to the classic shell forum that we were at before. And now we wanna scroll all the way back up to the top. We're gonna to be looking specifically for a forum post here with a taskbar zip. Okay, right here, Windows 7 taskbar zip. So go ahead and download that right there. And like I said, this is exactly the same place where we got the start menu skin from, and the link to this will be down in the description below. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and hit show in folder. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna extract everything from this folder into our downloads folder here. And if you go in here, you're gonna see that you have several different folders. Now what we're gonna be looking for is taskbars for Windows 8.1, believe it or not, because honestly, I think they look the best to Windows 7. The Windows 7 taskbar skins, really, they look good, but they don't fit the look like I wanted it to. So we're gonna go ahead and close these right here. We're gonna go back into these settings. And for the texture, we're gonna click on these little dots right here. We're gonna go into our downloads folder, into our taskbars, and then we're gonna go into Windows 8.1, and we're gonna go into the high intensity color, the first one right here. And if you, if you come over here and you look at your large icons, you wanna make sure to pick the one that is the texture and not the screenshot. So in that case, it's this one right here. That's the one that says taskbar at the end. So we click on that, hit open, and then hit okay, and it'll tell you you have to restart OpenShell at this point. So go ahead and hit okay. We're going to right click, hit exit. That'll give us back our Windows 10 start menu. Click on start here, go to all apps, and we wanna scroll down until we find OpenShell. And then from there, we wanna click on OpenShell menu settings, and that should open it back up again. And as soon as it opens it up, you can look, and that looks pretty good to the Windows 7 taskbar. If you put your window underneath it, you can see it has a clear transparency effect to it. And if you wanna take a look right here, we're gonna go ahead and click on this texture, and I'm gonna pick one of the actual Windows 7 ones that it has in here. So if we go into our Windows 7 one, and we will do, let's do this taskbar with reflection here. We'll go ahead and hit okay, and then we have to exit out and restart open shell again. Oh, right here, we can hit menu settings there. And as you can see, it does give you a Windows 7 like menu and you can kind of see these little effects here, but personally, it just didn't fit the look for me. I, I liked the other one better. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go back to that one real quick. All right, and there we go. So now we're starting to look a lot more like Windows 7. We've got the transparency effects within our borders. We have the transparency effects within our taskbar, and we have a pretty decent looking Windows 7 start menu, but we still have Windows 11 icons everywhere we look. So the way we're gonna fix that is we need a Shell 32 DLL from Windows 7. So for the Shell 32 DLL for Windows 7, I highly recommend you source 
source that one from a Windows 7 install. I couldn't find a really reputable source to be able to download it from. Every one that I found was kind of shifty. So I grabbed mine from a Windows 7 system and that's what I recommend you guys to do too. But you can find the Shell 32 anywhere that you want. It's in the th System32 directory on a Windows 7 system. If you need to, you can always install Windows 7 in a virtual machine and just steal the DLL out of it. It might take a while to do it that way, but at least it's a way to do it. But either way, once you get your Shell 32 DLL, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab mine real quick. I've got mine inside my documents folder right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that one. And I'm gonna throw this one onto somewhere on my system. I've got a temporary folder here on my C drive, but you can throw yours wherever you want. I'm gonna right click it and paste it here. And now make sure what you do is wherever you get your Shell 32 DLL, you wanna rename it. You can't leave it spelled Shell 32 DLL or otherwise Windows will confuse it for the one for Windows 11. And you need to leave the one for Windows 11 in place because it's important for the operating system. So once you find it, just right click, go ahead and hit rename. And I rename mine Shell 32 Win 7 DLL. You can rename yours whatever you want, as long as you remember what the name is. And then once you get this DLL, in a folder on your system somewhere. Go ahead and close this. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to play around with some of our icons. So right click on your desktop, hit personalize. And then from personalize, we wanna click on themes. And then from themes, you wanna scroll down to desktop icon settings. And this will give you your settings for your specific icons. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our folder right here. We're gonna hit change icon. And I'm gonna hit browse. And I'm gonna go to C drive. Cyber CPU, Shell 32 DLL. And then from there, these are all the icons that you would find in a Windows 7 system. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our recycle bin full, and we're also gonna change the recycle bin empty, and it's the exact same process. You just go through, go to your C drive, go to wherever you save the DLL to, and click on your icon there, and that's it. And now once I hit apply, I'm not gonna do it yet, but once I hit apply, you'll see right now, you have the Windows 11 recycle bin, and then I'm gonna hit apply, and you'll see it'll change right there to the Windows 7. And as you can see, there's some trash inside of it. So if we right click and we hit empty recycle bin, hit yes, there you go. There's an empty Windows 7 recycle bin on your desktop. Now, if you wanna do folders and things of that nature, you can always, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here. And as you can see, that's obviously a Windows 11 folder. You can right click on it. You can go ahead and hit properties go to customize and click on change icon. And then from there, same thing, you hit on browse, go back to the folder we were at before, open the DLL file, and then you can change this to whatever folder you want. Look, like in this case, we're just gonna change it to a default folder, and hit okay. And that'll give you a folder that looks more like Windows 7. Now, there should be a way to change all the default icons, for instance, like for all new folders and things of that nature. And I researched it and I couldn't find a great way to do it, at least not a free way to do it. There's supposed to be a way you could edit the registry in order to change these folders. And if you guys can find a, you know, a guide on how to do that, then I would appreciate it. I know some people mentioned it in the last video that I did on this subject. And you know, I looked around and I couldn't find a way to do that in the registry. So if you know of a way, let me know in the comments below because it'd be a great addition and I might actually make a video on just that topic alone. Let's get back to it. Okay, so we're looking pretty close to Windows 7, but there's one glaring problem. As you can see, this is a Windows 11 background. So we're gonna have to change that. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and click back into our browser. And then I actually found this image right here on Reddit. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below so you can download it yourself. But this essentially is a 4K version of the Windows 7 background. So I'm gonna right click. We're gonna hit save image as. I'm gonna throw this into my image folder right here. And then from here, we're gonna right click on the desktop. We're gonna hit personalize. We're gonna go to backgrounds. And then we're gonna to go to browse photos and we're gonna pick the Windows 7 photo here. And as you can see, there you go. That is a pretty good representation of Windows 7. So I think I really nailed the Windows 7 look, but this is not perfect. Unfortunately, I just couldn't get the 3D accents on the Windows borders without using retail software. Now it is possible if you do it with Windows blinds, 
but you gotta pay 20 bucks for that. However, the whole point of these videos is to achieve the look for free. And I think we got pretty close. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like these kind of mods, then check out this playlist here. I've done a ton of these videos and I'll probably do a lot more in the future. I had someone ask me to make a Windows 11 look like Windows 3.1 video recently. I may do that. <laughs> As always, you guys have a great day.